Welcome to Easy Learning, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be learning on the topic gradient and equation of a straight line. And our subtopic for today is prior lines. So previously we had looked at perpendicular lines. So today we are going to focus on prior lines, which is going to form the basis of the conclusion of the gradient and equation of a line. So parallel lines, their gradients are usually the same. So if you get the gradient of one line um, and you compare it to the gradient of another line, if these gradients are equal, then we see that these lines are parallel. So let's take, for example, these two equations. These are two equations of two lines. So let's check if they have the same gradient, hence make the conclusion if they are parallel or not. So when you look at the first equation, so it's y is equals 2x plus 7. So remember what we said, if this equation is in the form of y is equals to mx plus c, the value of m is a gradient. So in this case, our value of m is equals to 2. Same case with y is equals to 2x minus 9. If you look at in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. If the equation is not in this form of y is equals to mx plus c, always make it in this form. So that now when you get the value of m, as you can see, is 2. So as you can see, uh, 2 is equals to 2, that is the gradient for the equation 1 and the gradient for equation 2 are equal. So we say that these two equations are actually parallel lines. So then there's this example, determine which of the following pairs of straight line are parallel. So you start with this pair first, we're going to check if they are parallel or not. So remember the first thing we said, you write the two equations side by side. And the other one is y is equals to half x minus 20. You notice all of them are in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. This is also in y is equals to mx plus c. So our m is a half and it's positive a half. And also our m in the second equation is positive a half. This tells you that these two equations are actually parallel. Let's do another example. Determine which of the following pairs are parallel. So you notice this equation is a bit different. It's not in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. These two equations, so we have to make them in this form. So let's do that step by step. So we have 2, 3 over 2x plus 2 over 3y plus 3 over 2 is equals to 0. So we can uh, take x and the whole number in the other side. We can start with the x value. If we take to this side, it becomes 2 over 3y plus 3 over 2 is equals to negative 3 over 2x. And then we take positive 3 over 2 the other side as well. It becomes 2 over 3y is equals to negative 3 over 2x minus 3 over 2. So you notice this is supposed to be not 2 over 3, it's 3 over 2. This is also 3 over 2. You notice we have the same denominator across, so we can remove that by multiplying everywhere by 2, by 2, by 2. So these two cancels with this, these two cancels with this, this cancels with this. So we are left with 3 y, 3y 2y, not 3y, 2y. Uh, let's make some corrections. So it was 2 over 3x, uh, 3 over 2x plus 2 over 3y plus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. Is that tendency to make that error because they, are, they have like similar numbers? So let's make that correction. So we said you first move the value of x to the other side. So it becomes 2 over 3y plus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. 
minus 3 over 2x. We take the positive 3 over 2 and also the other side. So you're left with 2 over 3y is equals to negative 3 over 2x minus 3 over 2. So we have 2 over 3y is equals to negative 3 over 2x minus 3 over 2. So we said we wanted to put this in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So you can see we still have a value here in y, so we need to remove that value. So we can decide to multiply everywhere by the, uh, the fraction, but in reciprocal form. So or we can multiply with the LCM of the denominator. So the denominators are 3, 2, 2, and the LCM of 3, 2, 2 is uh, 6. So we can decide to multiply this by 6, uh, this by 6, and this by 6. So 3, 1, 3, 2, by 2, 1, 3, by 2, 1, by 2, 3. So we get 2 times 2, it gives us 4y is equals to minus 9x minus 9. So that if we divide by 4 everywhere, we get y is equals to minus 9 over 4x minus 9 over 4. You notice you can do this or you multiply by 3 over 2 everywhere. So if you do that, um, you notice you'll be left with y. So if, for example, we multiplied by 3 over 2, so we had 2 over 3y is equals to minus 3 over 2x minus 3 over 2. If we multiplied everywhere by 3 over 2, the reciprocal, 3 over 2, we divide by 3 over 2. You notice this will cancel out completely. You'll be left with y is equals to this will be left by negative 9 over 4, as you can see, minus negative 9 over 4, which is the same. And then the second equation is 2 over 3x plus 3 over y, 3 over 2y plus 2 over 3 is equal to 0. So we take the x value, this other side, we are left with 3 over 2y plus 2 over 3 is equals to minus 2 over 3x. We take positive 2 over 3, the other side as well, we are left with 3 over 2y is equals to minus 2 over 3x minus 2 over 3. Same case, you can see the LCM of the denominators is 6, so you multiply everywhere by 6. So you get uh, 3 beside 2, to, so you have 9y is equals to negative 4x minus negative 4. Divide by 9 all the sides. So y is equals to negative 4 over 9x minus 4 over 9. You notice the value of m in the first equation was negative 9 over 4 as, you, as we noted in the square that I'm making. And then for the second, we noted is negative 4 over 9. So they are not equal. So this tells us that they are not parallel. Let's do another example. Determine which of the following pairs of straight lines are parallel. So the same case, we have to put our equation in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So you start with the first equation. 2y minus 7x minus 8 is equals to 0. So we take the minus 7 the other side and also minus 8. You can do simultaneously or you can do it one by one. So it becomes 2y is equals to 7x becomes positive plus 8. So you divide by 2, divide by 2, you divide by 2, you get y is equals to 7 over 2x plus 4. And then the second equation is 4, 4y plus 17 is equals to 14x. So we take the positive 17, the other side becomes 4y is equals to 14x minus 17. 
So we divide by 4, we divide by 4, we divide by 4, we get y is equals, we can further divide this, it gives you by 2, 2, by 2, 7, you get 7 over 2x minus, this is not possible to divide, so 17 over 4. If you look at our m1 for the first equation is 7 over 2, our uh, gradient for the second line is also 7 over 2. So we say that they are parallel. Let's do one last question. Find the equation of the line to do the given point and prior to the given line. So we're supposed to look for the equation which has to be this point 3.5 and 0, which is prior to this line x plus y is equal to 10. So we write our equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c first, the second line. So x plus y is equal to 10. So if we take the value of x this side, it becomes y is equal to minus x plus 10. Remember there's a positive value here. So this tells us the first gradient is negative 1. So this is the same gradient that is going to be for the second equation because they are equal. But in the second equation, we have only been given two points, which is 3.5 and 0. So we introduce another point, x and y. So this will be our x1, y1. This is x2, y2. So when you look for gradient, we do y2, which is y, minus y1, which is 0, over x2, which is x, minus x1, which is 3.5. And everything should give you negative 1. So this is the same as over 1. So this is the same as y minus 0 is equals to negative 1. You just cr cross multiply uh, x minus 3.5. This y minus 0 is y is equals to, this is minus x. Minus, minus gives us positive 3.5. So this forms the equation of line 2. So that brings us to the end of uh, this session and check out more revision questions on what we have just learned in the app and also notes on the same. So watch out for the next video. See you.